All right, we're back. Personal health care reform talk show on Pegasus Net Waves, taking your health to a higher level and uh, hashtag Live Lean 2016. So, um, you know, pop that into anything and you'll kind of see the conversation that's going on, or at least portions of it anyway. Um, and some really fun, cool pictures at times. Um, but <laughs> seriously, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm having too much fun on Instagram these days, actually. Uh, so, um, all right, so go check out uh, ClintFuquay.com, ClintsPrograms.com, PersonalHealthCareReform.com. Uh, of course, on those, you've got my Facebook, my Twitter, my Ch- my Pinterest, my Google+, Plus, my LinkedIn, my Instagram, um, YouTube, tons of stuff on YouTube, uh, new uh, new videos coming, uh, Spreaker for all the old shows, uh, SoundCloud for all the old shows. Um, and if you want to see full pro- profile of me and where I work and everything else, uh, of course, you know, ClintFuquay.com, but also a health link, that's uh, HY. Uh, lthlink.com and then ideafit.com you can see those and uh, for articles uh, Men's Fitness, uh, Rocks Digital, Offbeat Business Living the Dream uh, I do articles for all down and multiple other publications as well, I'm getting around um, and uh, before we get everything kicked off here um, you know I did a special edition show with uh, Scott Schilling uh, it was just uh, kind of a one week show just a little ramp up to a national convention we, that we had last weekend and uh, part of the hell of the news is about that. So uh, we get all kinds of brand new updates for for ID Life. Um, brand new vegan protein. Stuff is awesome. I've already tasted it. I've shaken it up. Um, it smells good. Tastes good. Mixes well. Um, we've got Trisource uh, protein blend. Six servings of fruits and vegetables. Did I mention it tastes good? Because m- seriously, most of the vegan proteins I've tasted them. They they're horrible. They are absolutely horrendous. Uh, both smell, taste, and then what happens thirty minutes later. I won't tell you what happens three minutes later, but it's, it's it's no fun. You don't want to be around yourself in the same room, okay? Um, so, no issues with that. Um, for the ladies, we, we had some issues. Okay, we have a Skin Care Line. Skin Care Line is awesome, but we didn't have a uh, face cleanser. Well, guess what? We have a cleanser and makeup remover, two-in-one, all there. So, we... Uh, we, we took a good time with it. It's awesome product. Um, everybody's starting to try that one out. Brand new app. Brand new app specifically for the retail side. So you get to check stuff out. We send you product uh, updates, all kinds of stuff. And, 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 and coupons. That's right. I'll be sending out 30% off coupons randomly to people. So that may end up in your inbox one day. Check it out. Um, you never know. Um, you may be the lucky one. It's, seriously, I'm, I'm going to be very random about that. Unless you send me a request. Then I might just send you one because you send me a request because that's cool. Uh, anyway, so we have that. Uh, other stuff in health and news. Um, I, I'm skipping ahead to next month. So the Expert event. Uh, I'm actually being featured at this event. It'll be at uh, CSU here in Dallas, uh, May 3rd, which is a Tuesday from 5 to 12 or until they kick us out. Uh, it's a big uh, poker night charity event. Uh, there's going to be two other businesses sponsored there or uh, promoted for the event so check that out on uh on facebook uh adam indick is putting that together uh with the rest of his events awesome guy um and then also may 13th through 15th brian tracy will be in dallas um i'll be at that event i suggest you be at that event i'm gonna have links set up for myself and also for pegasus netwaves we're gonna be uh partial sponsors for this event coming in uh darren hardy's gonna be there ron white who's the uh the the, the mental expert with how you know doing memorization stuff like that uh, it's full lineup. It's an amazing, amazing event coming up. Um, Scott Schoen talked about that quite a bit last time he was in. So I want to put that out there. And now for health in the news. So some stuff going on. Um, nutrition has a direct impact on depression. Um, and you know, there's a little less depression right now because it's springtime, but a whole lot more because it's tax time. More on that coming up. <laughs> so, um, but uh, your nutrition, what you eat, has a huge, huge impact on that. Uh, this is on the Facebook page. Uh, Doctor Samadhi. If you don't know who don't know who this guy is, I love watching him. Uh, Sunday mornings, House Call on uh, Fox News Channel, uh, 11 a.m. The guy's phenomenal. Uh, rarely have I ever disagreed with him on any kind of opinion he's had on anything uh, from a medical perspective. Very, very good uh, group of people on that show. It's 30 minutes. I suggest you watch it or. Use your DVR, record it, watch it later, okay? Um, uh, Ten biggest mistakes when losing 50 pounds because it's springtime. You want to get into swimsuits, okay? Um, there was an article from Prevention Magazine. Great uh, great article there. If you need some help with that, we've got the whole ID, ID nutrition system put together by Jim Wiederstrom, Biggest Loser. By the way, I got pics with the twins. 
the, the Hernandez twins, those two guys are awesome. They're rock stars. Check out my Facebook page. It's a great picture. Um, <laughs> those guys have a lot. They, they've lost like 10 of me, okay? I'm tiny, by the way. Um, <laughs> and, um, uh, medications can uh, prem- prematurely age you. This is by uh, Dr. Frank Lipton. Uh, NBC News actually did a recent uh, news report about uh, uh, nutritional supplements and cancer medications and having major negative reactions. So... Anybody know that's, that's uh, going in and doing cancer treatments, make sure their doctor knows what they're taking on, on the supplement side because it's probably going to hinder whatever's going on or make things worse, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you go on and do your assessment, your ID assessment, guess what? We take care of all those issues. MD Anderson is testing our product right now, by the way, just so you know. It's pretty MD Anderson. Look them up. Um, eight Lusher, Lusher Fruits. Um, I mean, if you want to start getting more fruit in your diet and not have as much, uh, these are the best, you know, top, top of the top as far as nutrient value versus, you know, sugar uh, sugar intake. If you're worried about sugar intake, you know, that new vegan shake, yeah, six servings. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm horrible. Um, all right, uh, Care Starter. Uh, this company was started here in Dallas uh, through uh, Health Wild Catters. You should look them up if you want to see what's coming out in the future for health and health and medicine and wellness. Uh, that's an incubator group here in Dallas, a uh, phenomenal group. Uh, but Lamarck Pilvado brought that out. It's starting to, to grow and grow. Uh, he's got full coverage all over the North Texas area. So if you've got a, if you know a family that has a, a child with uh, special needs, autism, anything like that, download that Care Starter app uh, to help find the the right uh, um, uh, people to work work with you on that uh, from a medical perspective. Um, fantastic app. I mean, it's. Uh, you look him up and see why he created it. Uh, he's got his reasons for doing it. Awesome guy, too. Um, and lastly, before we get out of here on the health and news, CBO, the CBO reports, okay, showed that the uh, the ACA, you know, the, the ACA, Obamacare, that big thing, um, missed projection by 24 million people. Yeah, I'll let that sink in. Missed projection by 24 million people. That's a big miss, by the way. Um, so we'll talk probably a little bit more about that uh, coming up with uh, with my guest today because he's been on here several times. You know who he is, Mr. Mike Chapman. So uh, we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff because, you know, the tax man's coming. Um, and he's bringing the AC with him. Uh, so anyway, that's health in the news. Otherwise, uh, ClintFuqua.com. You'll find everything else on there. I've got brand new graphics, all kinds of stuff coming out in the next uh, couple weeks. Uh, actually, I'm going to kind of redo the entire website. So get ready for a whole new look and feel on the website. Going for simplistic. Um, it's, it's, it's a little busy. It has been. Uh, so we're going to simplify things. Um, <laughs> my web people, if they're listening, are like, oh, no. What's he doing? What's he planning? Well, you're about, they're about to find out. Um, <laughs> um, so there's that. Come back. Listen to the rest of the show. It's, it's, it's a must-listen show. Okay? Must, must-listen show. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elva Hernandez, and I'm the co-owner of H2 Dream Enterprises. And what we do is help people become debt-free and time-rich. So we partnered with a company called Life Vantage so we can help college students pay off their student loans, parents to stay at home to raise their children, and retirees to enjoy a stress-free retirement. You can reach me at h2dreamenterprises at gmail.com or at 214-457-9095 for more information. This is Jeff Lazarus, author of Dogtology, Live, Bark, Believe. Dogtology is about man's fanatical devotion to dog, about the belief in dog, arguably one of the most popular beliefs on earth. Dogtology is available right now on Amazon.com. Barnes & Noble select stores and barnesandnoble.com books a million, independent bookstores, and several airports around the country. All right, we're back. Personal health care reform talk show on Pegasus Netwaves, taking your health to a higher level. And, and if we were going to run some promo music for this, uh, although we'd probably get charged a whole lot, so we're not going to, um, we'd be playing the tax man by the Beatles. Look it up. Google it. Especially you kids out there. Uh, good song. Anyway, so um, I've got Mr. Mike Chapman on today. 
who is just phenomenal. He's awesome. He's been on here what is this just like six, something like six that. time. Yeah. Um, just you know, I, I like bringing you in quite often because you are the man for uh, for information on on business, the ACA, insurance, how to get things set up, all that stuff. So um, basically, I'm going to sit back and listen. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw a question out. I'm just going to sit back and listen. Uh, so, um, you know, tax time is coming. Literally, it's like right around the corner. Um, and uh, so I want to talk about that because things have changed or progressed. If you want to say that about uh, the ACA, penalties, uh, all that stuff is with regard to taxes. And uh, so anybody that hasn't filed yet and is getting ready to file, especially if they're self-employed or anything like that, um, Things they need to know about, um, maybe some numbers to to know about, maybe knowing why certain numbers are larger than what they were before. <laughs> um, so anything like that, and then um, you know, I want to get into the rest of this year because it, it is a big year. It's a it's an election year, which plays heavily into what's going on with that and everything else. Um, but uh, we both know that's going to be a huge central issue in, in this election election year so um, I want to talk a little bit about that what can be expected the rest of this year what to expect next year depending on which way things go because uh, you know right now it's kind of who knows what's going to happen conventions are, aren't even here yet and the conventions are like I think we're just going to toss everybody out and pick who we want um, it's interesting so um, let's start off with uh, the, the basic thing the, the first thing at hand which is going to be tax day coming up and people filing and saying what what, what, what happened to my refund? Where did where'd it go? What's this number here? So um, I'll let you take it away. All right. Good morning. <laughs> it's great to be back. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, normally, although this year it's the 18th, normally the, the 15th of April is the dreaded day of the year for most people, especially self-employed and uh, small business owners. And um, this year, in uh, memory of that, and also in terms of my latest kick, I'm going f- uh, for a twofer in terms of... Uh, uh, of uh, how to celebrate that, and that's I scheduled my colonoscopy for that day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting it twice that day, folks. Oh, take <laughs> but it's, that! <laughs> it's part of my kick uh, because I'm uh, committed to practicing what I preach. I really believe that before you can change the world, you got to change yourself, and that's why this year I really uh, doubled down on my own personal health and I'm making a number of lifestyle and. Uh, uh, mental attitude changes, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that uh, in a few minutes. But uh, what what we see now is the gradual um, curtain being pulled back from the Wizard of Oz, known as Obamacare. The uh, and I have actually read the whole darn thing. I have uh, lived, eat, and breathed this since it came into being six how did, years how ago. How did you live through that, by the way? Well, it was it was kind of like a, fa- a fantasy fiction from uh, Harvard MBAs or something oh, yeah. like that, but and think tank nerds. Uh, but unfortunately, much of it is baked into uh, baked into the laws, and it will it would take um, a revolution to really extricate all, and it, it won't happen overnight. But what what you're seeing is even those who it was intended to help the uninsured. Um, who uh, oh, and especially lower economic groups. The first year was great. The second year they got hit with the same inflationary increase, and they can't afford it. So, who is it benefiting? Who is it benefiting? No, nobody. I, I love the meme of uh, uh, the guy sitting on the park bench. It's not helping. Yeah, t- talking about uh, you know, I couldn't afford health care before. Now, now I'm now I'm unemployed and I'm getting fined. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> for not being able to afford it. Yeah, it's uh, it's like certainly that. a huge hindrance to uh, to employers, even though, it, especially here in Texas, uh, it's a pretty rosy job picture. It is a huge hindrance for any uh, employer, small business, where most job growth comes. It's a huge impediment to, to adding jobs because of the cost of insurance. Mm-hmm. So what happens? It gets If the employer is under 50 employees in most states, they're not, you know, they're, not required, so they're not going to offer insurance. Mm-hmm. If they're over 50 employees, they have to offer insurance. And so they're really, um, it has to take an act of Congress to hire somebody new or to replace an open position. Now, 
Uh, this year, the penalty for not having insurance, assuming you're above the poverty line, uh, is 2.5% of your adjusted family gross income, or your household income. Um, that's a big number for a $50,000 a year person, say 30 years old, 35 years old, whatever. That's uh, that's equivalent, and this is gross dollars. That's uh, that's what twelve and a half, twelve fifty, mm -hmm. about a hundred bucks a year. Next year, it goes to four and a half percent of your adjusted gross income. That's, that's almost two hundred bucks a year. Two hundred bucks a year for a thirty-five-year-old. What are their options? Well, next year, if you haven't, you may not have, but. The truth is that every insurance company in the country has submitted their um, has already submitted their rates and their plans and their plan designs to the Center for Medicare Services, which is the Oz controlling things for what they're going to have in the way of plan designs and rates for 2017. Well, here in Texas, Blue Cross Blue Shield lost more than any other insurance company. In so, the nation. So much so they ended PPOs for individuals. Yeah. Uh, WellPoint, the largest uh, private insurance, the largest insurance company outside of the Blues, which is a, uh, you know, in a, a state base, but they're the largest in the nation. They have, their CEO has gone on record saying they're getting out of it. Aetna, getting out of it. So you, you read the ink, guess what's going to happen to rates? Well, guess what's yeah, going to happen to plan it. designs? This year, it took me 14 doctors in the uh, plan that I select. It took going down the list of in-network providers. It took me 14 doctors on, on the list of in-network providers before I found somebody that could give me a colonoscopy to keep me healthy. Why? Because they're only being reimbursed below cost. Or because the only ones that are in that are Medicaid-type doctors that mm -hmm. have a practice set up, and there's nothing wrong with Medicaid doctors, but they are set up totally differently than the, the common uh, specialists. So there's very few specialists that are uh, worth the salt that are in these Obamacare networks. Mm -hmm. uh, what's happening next year? Look for not double-digit rate increases look for like 30 to 40 percent rate increases beginning in January. Now, Ouch. when are these supposed to be announced? When are these rate increases for 2017 supposed to be announced? Open enrollment begins November 1st, folks. Seems to me on the 22nd, I believe, of November, there is an event that is going to change the course, hopefully, of uh, politics in the U.S. that if those rates become publicized, then there may or may not uh, be a delay. You know, it's quite possible, like in past years, that for political expediency, those uh, that, that open enrollment won't happen on November 1st. It'll happen December after the elections. Mm -hmm. But let's assume for right now that the uh, plans for next year are announced November 1st, finding even fewer doctors, uh, even fewer people that can afford it. And those people that require uh, insurance are going to be hopping mad that that could actually change the course of the election. Could. Could. Maybe not. A lot of things can happen. But uh, it's going to have a major impact on um, the course of uh, politics and the course of the nation in 2017, yeah, no the, doubt about the, it. The course of business. Now, unfortunately, neither party has a platform on, uh, you know, repeal and replace, extract it, vote it down, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the uh, both parties, neither party has uh, solutions that is going to change. They may change the politics. They may change or eliminate the uh, uh, needless subsidies for, um, for um, you know, putting our country further in debt, but nothing is being done to control the cost of health care. How do you do how do you control the cost of health care? Well both parties espouse things like let's sell insur let's allow insurance companies to sell across state lines. You talk to the politicians privately, they'll say they know that has no impact. That can't be done. 
the rates here in Texas will be based on the claims experience in Texas. Mm -hmm. The rate the the rates in New York City will be based on the claims experience in New York City. All that will create is a uh, is an even further oligopolistic monopolistic uh, insurance carrier uh, uh, network with fewer providers and. Uh, it's not going to change anything, but it sounds good to voters. There, uh, so what do you do? You start the revolution. What's the rev Where do you start the revolution? In your home. <laughs> you start it with your own personal actions. First of all, anybody that has insurance now, group, individual, get your wellness stuff done. I've got mine scheduled on National Tax Day. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope you can do it soon. Why? Because that's where you start. Some of the other tests, skin cancer tests, um, mammogram, pap smear, um, vaccination, all these different things. You're paying for it. You're crazy not to do it. But you can also establish baselines. I encourage you to go to places like uh, any lab test now. Get, start a baseline on all of your uh, vitals, your uh, your CBCs, your blood count, your uh, vitamin deficiencies. Find out what you can do to change yourself. What can you be doing to change your mental attitude? What can you be doing to change your physical being in terms of lifestyle choices you make, in terms of uh, what you put into your body? What can you be doing to sharpen your mental acuity? Why? Because choices you're making now are going to have a huge impact 10 or 15 years down the road. Do you want to live a pain-free life with full mental acuity, or do you want to be burdened by chronic health pain and um, mental fogginess? Yeah, I, I choose the former. Yeah, speaking of lab tests, um, yeah, I've, I've got one of, one of my health partners, uh, Ulta Lab Testing. Um, you want to talk about some discounts? Through, through me, you're getting 28% discount on all those tests um, anywhere in the nation. 2,500 locations, all that stuff. Uh, and I'll have another another company I'll be working with that does it in-home, uh, literally with the pinprick. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, lots of ways to, to take care of that. Um, and uh, It can save your life. Oh, yeah, greatly, greatly. We, we even have a uh, deal through um, uh, through Quest Labs for Friday Life. So anybody that's, that's in that system, guess what? You can get all your baseline numbers done for $28. Through through ID Wellness, um, which we we rolled that in last year, cool. um, which is just a phenomenal uh, phenomenal thing. It's part of the Core Wellness Program, but it's available for everybody. Now let me go back to what employers can do. Okay, there um, there is a um, general "woe is me," nothing can be done. Rates are going up. Inflation is impossible. We can't hire any. We can't afford to hire anybody. We can't afford to pay the Obamacare tax penalties of $2,000 or $3,000 per employee. It would bankrupt us, and we can't afford insurance. What are we going to do? Let me tell you, there are things you have to. There are things that you can do as an employer to control the cost. There are very few um, benefits consultants and professionals like myself that really know how to to uh, flip those plans. I know how to flip those plans. There are different types of pricing models you can embed into your company self-insured health plan if you're larger. Uh, if you're a larger employer, there are things you can do as a small employer that um, is not well discussed. As individuals, there are things that you can do right now that I'll be uh, talking about in the next uh, four to six weeks that will replace your Obamacare plan for about a third of the cost and will provide you with better coverage and will keep you and keep your knickers clean from the Obamacare tax penalty. There are things you can do. Don't believe what people tell you. Yeah, the system stinks. Yeah, we have a chance to change things in 2017 if we wake up in November of this year. But in the meantime, there are things that we can each do individually that's going to improve our quality of life and the quality of our family and our friends and our colleagues. So, so let's start the revolution. Yeah, fantastic. You, you know, that kind of goes with, with why I started the show and, and the book and everything is, you know, the revolution to take back our health. So, 
quite literally from the from the guy on the inside of the inside and is going to have the insides of his insides checked out soon. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's just hilarious. Um, <laughs> so, but you know, coming from that, I mean, it's, most people don't ever hear this information. They're not privy to it, or at least the in the usual news cycle, most people aren't privy to this because, well, it, people want to keep this hidden or at least not really that accessible, which is why I love having you on the show. Um, so we can put that out there. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be the, ha- to be the Halloween show, but, you know, this is kind of like Halloween Part 2 for, for Tax Day. Um, I didn't realize they pushed it back to the 18th. Uh, but um, for this year, but, <clears throat> yeah, that's this all a, a huge need to know. I know you're you're taking um, some steps in, in your life to, to make some changes. Uh, want to improve your health, which is the start of it, because if you're healthy, guess what happens to your health care costs or your disease care costs, uh, more specifically? They drop. You get money back in the bank. Um, you don't have to allocate funds for all the pills and doctor visits and everything else. You, you get to you have money to play with. You get to live your life. You get to enjoy things for once. Yeah, um, and uh, the other thing is that l- small changes in lifestyle can have a huge impact 10 or 15 down- years down the road. Each year you can avoid retiring and are productive. Is another year that you're not tapping into your life savings if you manage to have mm-hmm. any by avoiding health care costs. So think about the present, how much better your life can be today, but also th- envision the life you want 10 years or 15 years down the road. Yeah, exactly. I love giving the the deathbed talk, which is you're laying in your deathbed. You when you look back, what do you see? Were you out having fun, or were you in this bed for years? You know, laying around in the bed for years and years is just a waste uh, for for you and everybody else. So, um, you know, it's, it's it's taking small steps, even if it's just drinking extra water every day, is going to make huge impacts. Um, losing you know ten percent of your of your weight has a huge impact on everything. Um, you know, you're not having to replace joints. You're not having to replace other things in your system. It puts less stress on your system. Um, you know, working with the ADA, I mean, 10 pounds is, is huge. It's a lifesaver. So um, <clears throat> anything else you want to add to yeah. the end of this before we get yeah, out of here? There, now, I, I guess a little bit of a tease in there, but if anybody wants to contact me and uh, learn more, you can reach me at Mike. Uh, my name is Mike Chapman, the Medical Insurance Exchange.com. Uh, best phone number, 888 398 6246 is the toll free number. And uh, I make myself available about uh, 18 hours a day, six days a week. You can reach me, ask a silly question. But I also will give you, I will challenge you and challenge your thinking about things that you may not have considered that are really important. Mm-hmm. Very good. And yeah, we'll we'll have you back on because I want you to expand on some of the, some of the teases earlier about uh, some some stuff outside of the ACA that people can use now f- uh, for insurance uh, to help out with with everything and reduce costs and not get caught in that loop. So uh, for everybody else out there, um, come back. More shows on the way. Tons of new stuff. We're gonna have, we have a little change of format coming up in around June as well, from what I'm hearing. So um, there, you will hear more and more and more of me and everybody else coming on the show. Um, by more, I mean longer time periods. Uh, anyway, so we've got that going on. Everything else, ClintFuquay.com, ClintSpurgrams.com, PersonalHealthCareReform.com. Uh, hashtag LiveLean2016 is most of the conversation on, uh, on any, anything and everything social media. Um, check out the Facebook page, everything else. And otherwise, take care of yourself. Um, watch out for the tech man because he's coming. He's coming for you. Um, got a big old bag of ACA with him. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure you get the image right now of what the ACA means. Uh, anyway, so um, come back, listen to the show, contact this man over here, contact Mike Chapman if you've got a business. Mm-hmm.